Hey man, what it is? This is Dean, and I am your host, and this is by any means. There go to Cash App, dollar sign Dean by any means. There go to PayPal at Dean by any means. Y'all already know what I'm about to say. I don't care if you leave a dollar, ten dollars, a thousand dollars. It's much, much, much appreciated. Y'all want to talk about something. Oh, yeah, and don't eavesdrop. Hit that like button. Y'all want to talk about something that's near and dear to my heart, man. I need y'all to all go to Tyreek Nasheed page, and um, it's going to be a picture of him looking like he Bruce Lee with Myron and, or Myron Gaines and Sneeko. And I just and it, and it, it, it hurt my heart, man, because this is the reason why I be shouting FBA. This is the reason why Malcolm X is my avatar, because we help people in the civil rights era. We was helping people and fighting for people to get in this country just for them to come over here and talk down on us. When they people defecating in the streets, when they when they got whole fucking when they got whole villages getting slaughtered, it's, I feel like Snoop Dogg and them like y'all ain't got no love for death row. They talk so crazy about us black Americans and what we need to do when they ancestors ain't died for this. You a first generation baby here. You the reason you you being born is the reason your parents not going to get deported and things like that. We fought for laws like that, not you. How dare y'all come to somebody else's country because you couldn't make it in your country and then talk about the people that's to the native of the land. That's like me, y'all, moving to Asia, moving to China, and I'm talking about what Chinese people need to do and what's the problem with them. Because I failed in America because I was broke, ain't had no jobs in America. I went to China, and now I'm telling the Asian people what they should be doing. See how idiotic that is? When their ancestors died and fought for the land and had to go through all the things, the wars and things like that that they've been through. You don't hear a black American speaking on what's going on in Africa, what's going on in Kenya and goddamn um, Uganda and all that. You know why? Because it ain't none of our business. We feel for y'all, but at the end of the day, we dealing with the same thing over here in America. We can't be worried about other people when us in America are getting treated fairly. And for people that, that ancestors is not from this country to sit up there and tell us we don't work hard. We work harder than, wh wh where is Sneeko from? I mean, Sneeko is Haitian and Filipino. And from Filipino. Black Americans got more net worth than, than the average Haitian or Filipino. So what are you talking about? Sne um, Myron, is, he from um, Sudan. The average black American got more money than the people that's in native Sudan. What are you talking about, sir? If we don't work hard, then what is y'all doing? Because we actually went through slavery. You didn't even go through that. You didn't have no laws to suppress what you was doing. And y'all was the majority where you from. And you're the majority in your home country. We're not. Name me the Sudan, the, the, the Sudanese Michael Jordan or Michael Jackson or, or famous doctor. Do y'all know the most, the person with the most intelligence in America that has the biggest IQ are two, are two young people, young black Americans at the highest IQ in the world? You probably didn't know that. One of them from Delaware. We create culture. Ain't nothing cool unless black Americans like it. Nothing. Ain't nothing cool unless black Americans like it. It took goddamn... Um, Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark just to get the WNBA to be watched. And you got cowards like Myron who hated himself so much he had to go get a hair implant. When this guy's like Tupac and Jadakiss who went bald for style, you scared to go bald because you insecure about who you are. When Jadakiss and Tupac, they went bald for style. Michael Jordan went bald for style. You was a clown, bro. Sneeko was running his mouth, got in that ring with that UFC fighter. Then that man almost, boy... They was about that to bring the stretcher and then he lost his tooth running his mouth. You can't even throw hands. You ain't no man. You talk about all this man stuff and you can't even throw hands. You ain't no man. Sneeko, you a buck 40, bro. You how you six foot a buck 40 talking about this man stuff. Then going to be talking about Jewish people are the chosen people. Who's who said that? How can you be the chosen people when you're not the original people? Well, Jewish people, not white. Yes, they are. Because the original Jewish people weren't light skin pigmented at all. And then y'all sit up there and say that the Jewish people now don't take the black Jews serious. That's not their choice. You can't tell you can't tell somebody what they can believe in. You can't tell somebody what their heritage is, what their culture is, what, how they was raised. How are you going to tell somebody that? 
when you're Haitian and Filipino, you're not even Jewish. How was you, how was you going to say that? Did a rabbi say that? Did a rabbi say he don't take black people that's Jewish seriously? Because I've never heard a rabbi say that. Not one time in my life. I've never heard a rabbi say that. What are you talking about? The original people let y'all tell it. That's coming from Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ looked like me. Moss can complexion. I got bronze colored skin. Jesus Christ looked like me. What are you talking about? The chosen people. How are you the chosen people? You weren't the original people. Please tell me this. Did y'all know Jewish people helped fund the slave trade? Did you know that? Do you know that most of the executives that's in the music that push the violence in our culture? Go look up who's the owner of Empire, um, Universal, um, Sony and all that. Go look them up and go find out what their religion is. Then had the nerve to say that Jewish is a race and a religion. These stupid dummies don't even know what a race is. Race is your skin pigmentation, sir. Not the part of the earth you was born in. Elon Musk is white, but he was born in South Africa, so he could say he black because he was born in South Africa. No, but he is a South African, though. That's where he was born at. It don't change the fact that he white. Giannis, uh, Giannis that played for the Bucks, he was born in Greece, I believe, or he's a he's from he grew up in Greece. He plays with a Greek team. Giannis is not white. Giannis is not an ancient Greek. Giannis is an African. Giannis is a black man. So just because the part of the world he grew up in does not make that his race, dummies. Go do some, get some education, sir. Your race is your skin color. I am black, no different than the people in India that's just as dark as me. If you go do a DNA test on them, I guarantee they are 50% African, just like I am, if not more. I am the original people, sir, because I'm actually African and Native American. So when y'all use that um, lingo to me, well, you're trying to say black people was already here? Yes, because black is your skin pigmentation. People with dark skin pigmentation come from African descent no matter where they from. Even the people in Asia and the Filipinos and Thailand, those guys that you see with dark skin pigmentation, go do an ancestry on them. They come back and holler at Dean. It ain't a white person walking around that don't have African in them. You're going to mean to tell, tell me somebody as dark as me. If you trace back where their original people, their original grandparents, their original grandparents, they'll be African, guaranteed. Indian, Asian, it don't matter with, with where you go. With it. Black people are everywhere. That's why we are the only people that you just can't classify as one color. We're the only people that basically come in every color. Literally, albino, light skin, um, midway, mocha, cappuccino, real dark, you name it, is it, it, black people. So to sit up there and say that you don't take the black Jews serious, you don't get to make that call because the black Israelites take themselves very serious. Sneeko and Myron, y'all go to them and tell them that. Don't argue with me. Like, like, it's just crazy out here, bro, the propaganda, how people could be so smart and so dumb at the same time. There ain't no black Jewish. If you out your mind, go do the history, go do the history on Israel. Is you crazy? As I know, you never opened up a book. You're just talking. And it's coming from people who's supposed to be um, us. Why is y'all, why is y'all clamoring for Jewish people so much? Like you're Jewish. You're not even Jewish and you're not white. What do you care? What do you care, Sneeko? So everybody is chosen people, but the people you come from, I'll never say nothing like that. You are out your mind. Chosen where? Over who? I ain't never had nobody come up to me and tell me that. You out your mind. Who said that? Who determines that? Who determines who's chosen and who's not? Who gets to determine that? Adolf Hitler tried that before, and you see how his life ended up, right? These people be coming from these countries that's broken down third world countries and they come over here from the opportunities that my ancestors died for, the pain and suffering that my ancestors had to go through, and then talk crazy about us, about what we doing in the hood and King Von and Lil Dirk. Had the nerve to say most people, or most black people walk, are lazy and walk with their pants sagging. Bro, ha that's how I know you don't even know what you're talking about because now they wearing skinny jeans, sir, and most black people aren't like that. You mean black people that's in the ghetto? 
Well, guess what, sir? I can tell you the black people that's in the suburbs not doing that. But I can also tell you that half of the people that's in the ghetto, 75% of them ain't doing that. So the grandmoms and grandpops and the 50-year-old men and the children. Let's think about everybody that's in between, y'all, that's in a black ghetto. Grandmoms, grandpops, um, dads that's in their 50s and 60s, little kids. So all of those black people are doing that, pants sagging and lazy. Cut it out, bro. Cut it out, my nigga. When, a, when our elderly is a third of our population and the babies is probably another third of it. What are you talking about? So that means two-thirds of the black population you cannot say is doing any of the stuff you say. Then you got to literally look at the other ones, anybody that's a teenager to their mid or late 40s, and then break that into like 10% because all of us ain't doing the same thing. Cowards. Rather clamor for the a white man so much than be on your uh, have your people's back. You all rather talk about Tyreek Nasheed and say that racism don't exist. These guys said that racism doesn't exist for black people in 2024. That's how I know you're a clown. That's uh, ain't nothing else I gotta say. I don't have to say anything else. Go ask a go go ask a room full of white people if they believe that. You couldn't even get every white person in America to believe that, sir. Oh, it is. Then why are black men still getting um in prison at a higher rate? Oh, there ain't still racism in America. Why are black people um not getting the same job opportunities still? The same problems we had in the 1960s, we still got now. So please tell me what's the difference. Please tell me what's the difference. Are black people still getting treated unfairly? Are we still getting denied loans from banks? Is our houses not getting appraised the same way as our counterparts is? It's a simple question. That sounds like racism to me because that's just systemic. Are they still saying if you live in this neighborhood, you can't go to this school, but if you live in the ghetto, you got to go to this school? Last time I checked, they still doing that. Didn't they just make a boy in Texas cut his dreadlocks off? What you call that? Because they said his hair was going past his shoulders. I guarantee not one white girl in there, Ashley or Susan, who hair come past their shoulders, they may cut their hair off. Promise you were said it looked unprofessional. Shout out to Tyreek Nasheed, man. Shout out to my black Americans. And if you from a different country, I ain't got no problem with you. Just don't start talking crazy about my people and we good. I don't care less about what you're doing. I don't want to be a part of your culture or none of that. I would love to visit, experience it, you know, big y'all up, have fun, go to Dominican, go to Africa, go to Asia. I don't mind doing all that, seeing other things, but I would never want to be nothing but what I am. Straight up. Because we by far are the strongest people and have overcome the most out of anybody. We came from having to work for free. Nobody else has done that. You can't even start to compare nobody else to us. Well, you know, Dean, it was white people that were suppressed and those same white people that came from suppression are suppressing us. So I don't feel sorry for them. Sorry. I understand uh, uh, um, Nazi Germany and all that what happened, but you can't be a victim, then get money, come to America and then victimize us. Like Jewish people ain't denying us bank loans, house loans, the whole nine. Pushing out this degenerate music, the entertainment industry, Hollywood, you name it. Banks, you name it. Racist is real. Listen, a racist is a racist. I don't care what religion he is, what's your skin book, complexion or any of that. You don't have to be a white person just to be a racist. You don't have to be a certain culture just to be a racist. No. You have a dislike for black Americans. It don't matter if you're Latino, white, Asian, whatever, because all of them do it. So I don't care, to be honest. Just keep it to yourself. Because when you put it out to the public, I'm going to speak up for my people and don't care how nobody feels about it. Sorry, can't do it, can't help you. And black Americans is lazy. Black Americans is this. Why are we making excuses? You haven't been through what we've been through, so how can you even speak on it? Because if we were so lazy, then you go leave America, go back to your home country and help them out and rebuild Sudan, rebuild Haiti. But neither of you cowards would do it. Get your head chopped off. Neither of you cowards would do it. Straight clowns, man. Y'all already know what this is, man. Dean, by any means. And I holler at y'all.